chilling new 911 calls after a home invasion in a quiet neighborhood in Connecticut. A family terrorized by intruders with what appeared to be bombs. The son, a bank executive, part of an attempt to rob that bank. We knew he had called a friend for help, and tonight we hear what that colleague did next, calling 911. And here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Now I'm specifically told that not to contact the authorities. The 911 call, chilling. The caller, a credit union CEO. The man he's calling about, his employee, Matthew Yusman, a victim of a home invasion. He has a bomb. He's sitting in his car in, in the garage that the perpetrators also put a bomb under the mother's bed. The armed suspects in green army jackets, black cargo pants, and full ski masks allegedly sending Yusman to the credit union alone to get money wearing that device. He told me to uh, have all the staff leave the branch so nobody gets hurt. As the clock ticked, court records say the suspects texted with Yusman. How much do you have, they ask. Over a million, he says. They reply, that is good, one million, get in the car. They order him to meet them at this cemetery. But instead, police were surrounding Yusman's home and the credit union. Neighbors in this small town stunned. It was just wild to think something like that could happen in your, you know, a nice neighborhood like this. Tonight, no leads on the suspects. They never ended up with any money. And mom and son are home unhurt. Those bombs were fakes. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.